But could there be a double wedding? Last week, Kate and her boyfriend, Corbin Harris, were spotted engagement ring shopping, or so the rumour goes. So is she about to tie the knot for real? Kate joins us now with a big exclusive. Stand by. Kate Ritchie, let's get straight to the point. Are you about to get married in real life? Uh, no. Oh, oh. And you know what? If there was an exclusive, I would be in very big trouble if I was telling you and not my mother. So, um, no, 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 no wedding bells for me, only for Sally Fletcher, so. We had to ask. I know. Well, I had phone calls saying, they're on the morning show congratulating you, saying that I deserve a bit of happiness and all this kind of thing. I mean, well, I do, but... I don't need to get married to get it, I don't think, at this point. So, so you weren't ring shopping? Was I was something... looking at rings. I mean, I, this is what I keep saying to all my girlfriends. I'm thinking, I kind of never have had to make an excuse for, you know, wandering into a shop and looking at pretty things before, and um, now I've had to explain myself. Okay. So We well, just want the best for you in life. Oh, well, thank you. So That's do I. But you will tell us here first. <laughs> we, we will have it first. Like, oh, before, don't worry. We want to know don't, before your mum. <laughs> don't worry. If it, if it ever happens, I'll be um, here exclusively on the morning show. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Now, now, let's get to the show, the okay. big show, Home and Away. And Sally's had a few nerves uh, about this latest Home and Away uh, marriage the concept. Is, it, is she going to make it down the aisle this time? Well, I'm not sure. You know, I can't, you know, I, I can't tell you too much. You're not very giving to us today. We, we thought we'd have a nice little chat and all you're doing is... Do you want me to ruin the story? I don't want to ruin the, um... It's like no, ruining right. the yeah, end of a great film. Yeah. You have to tune in, you have to tune in tonight. Right. But I, no, I will say tonight. that whatever the decision is, you know, whatever the decision Sally That's makes, right. it, it will be the right one, because she's a smart girl. <laughs> Well, and you've done this a couple of times before. You haven't sort of been really lucky in the matrimonial stakes. No, this is you? actually the uh, the third the third wedding. I think I'm looking at some hideous footage there of me on a horse and cart. <laughs> and now with my rollers in, I'm glad you picked the good yeah. stuff. <laughs> we wanted the people we wanted people to, to know the real Kate Ritchie. Yeah. Hey, Kate, do you get much of an input into your frock? Like as as Kate Ritchie, do you yeah. get a say in, in Sally's frock, or do you just have to wear what the wardrobe department gives you? Um, I will. I mean, ultimately. The, the decisions lie with the designer but yeah. they do of course say you know what what do you feel comfortable mm. in and we do you know we do go to the store um, and and try on lots of different frocks and then come up with something do you ever go this one looks great I'm gonna save this for the real thing no oh you so no. do you and I'm not gonna say that here because then I'll be getting married again so no 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 I am kind of glad though that I um, you know there is there's a big difference between Sally and, and, and between me. So, um, I, you know, I think if the day ever comes for me, it will be something completely yeah. different to Ka what Ka Sally's ever wanted. it really want. difficult to separate the two? Yeah. <laughs> I think she really wants me to be yeah, getting she, married. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of... Because we're, two, we're two very tough investigative journalists. We're not letting you leave here without a scoop. You're like a kid <laughs> in a party shop in a wedding frock shop. Uh, yeah. Uh, in a wedding frock shop. You know, you get to try all the things. And you yeah. have, like, yeah. lots of... Yeah, it is. It, I mean, it is lovely, and I must say, the first time I did the wedding, it was mm. exciting yes. um, because I guess it is. You know, it's every girl's dream being able to. You know, the first mm. time round, I, I picked the flowers as well, and, and mm. that was all a little bit strange. Um, but you know, I guess as in real life, by the time you get to the third wedding, you're not really into it that much. <laughs> yeah. are as, you? Long as, as long as you're into it on the real one. Yeah, exactly. You. Well, was, you know, people often ask me, "Do you think it would be?" You know, it will be strange when it eventually comes to your day when you've kind of done all the walking down the aisle before, but, um, you know, I hope not. No, um, <laughs> no it'd be very different. Yeah. We do have to deal with one other rumour too. There's been a bit of speculation around about you sort of packing up and heading out of Summer Bay. I know everyone, everyone keeps talking about it. Does that, and, and you'll have, I know, I know your you answer, have you'll have to tune in and see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 look, I'm not going anywhere um, at the moment. I mean, I, I love, I love my job. And I, I do know that if I ever did decide to leave, you know, the decision wouldn't be made lightly. You know, yeah, after, yeah. after 20 years, it's much more than a, a job for me. It's, it's like a family and I have such an emotional attachment to the show. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, when that decision's made, I'm not going to wake up one morning and decide to leave. Sure. It, it will be, you know, mm. much bigger than that. It's been lovely to see you spreading your wings on doing the It Takes Two with Grant. Yeah. And, yeah, so oh. you've been enjoying that. Yeah, I've, I've, had, a, I've yeah. had a great time. And I must say, hosting with Grant um, was a lot less, you know, well, challenging working with Grant, of course, but, um, but not as challenging as having to go out there and, you know, sing every week, which is right. what I had to do the first time round. I thought you were going to say not as hard as working with Grant. Right, yeah. I was preparing myself for a get up and walk out sort of concept yeah. there. No, we we loved having you, Larry. Oh, thank you. Hey, listen, great to see you. Big wedding coming up. What are we? Uh, what's this like across a month or something? Tonight, We've got to watch every tomorrow night. night.
It's over tonight. a couple of nights. Of course. Of course. We're going to drag it out for as long <laughs> as possible. Great to see you. You look fantastic. And Thank it takes you coming back up. Uh, well, hopefully. A year or so. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll I think we'll get over the, the next series of Dancing with the Stars first, Good which stuff. I'm excited about. So. Great to see you. And thanks for sorting out all those rumours uh, for us. Oh, anytime. <laughs> Remember, whatever Kate said this morning, you heard it here first on the morning show. She's Live great, and exclusive. She's thanks, a great Kate. sport. Thanks, Kate. Ahead right. on the show, the.